Hello everyone, and welcome back to Bear With Me. So, let's let's pick up from where we left off, which I believe I the last one was saved to. Should be. I think I saved on a new slot. Yes, it is. So last I remember, we had just got the working flashlight, so we need to go back into the bathroom, as I recall, because that room did not have, well, a light. Also, some freaky stuff happened in the, uh... In the study. Well, uh, one thing in particular. Oh, there's stairs. You use them to move up and down the house. Fascinating stuff. Oh, wait. I forgot something. Uh, last when I was editing, I realized the speech was rather low. So I'm going to turn that up a bit, along with the sound effects. There we go. Okay, that's automatically on. That's fine, then. I have a bad feeling about this room. And jump scares, but I guess we'll just see. It's a trash can. Surprisingly, it's full of trash. Well, then look in it. I'm not going through trash. It's just my work ethic. This duster may come in handy. I'll take it with me just in case. Cool. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who will be a beautiful princess who's bound to live a long and happy life in a castle somewhere in France and have lots of ponies? Um, you are Amber, like for totes. I knew it. Did that thing just talk? I don't know. Did it? Apparently it did, which means either this is a fantastical, whimsical world, or the main character has some mental problems, like I mentioned in one of the descriptions last time. Honestly, I kind of hope for the former, even though I suspect the latter. It's full of uninteresting stuff. Pairs of towels just hanging out. Can I take the cleaning stuff? That could come in handy. No, but nice try, Mom. Well, just saying, it could have came in handy. Used for not washing your face, because water is gross in the morning. What? <laughs> you don't wash your face? I thought I just saw a silhouette in the bathtub, but I don't think I did. I think that was, uh, something else. Where's the money, Lebowski? <laughs> I forgot about that. Classic TP found in most bathrooms. What's there left to say that hasn't been published in Science Weekly already? Am I right? Dave's not here, man. It's just one of the many cabinets around the house. Nothing interesting about it, really. Can I take any of this stuff here? Doesn't look like it. Hey, pills! They're my mom's. I'm not really sure what they're for. Probably either pain pills or antidepressants. Just some stuff I don't really care about. I'm just going off what most people's pills in most households are. Usually they're either for some kind of medical ailment or they're for sleeping or something. I don't know. Uh. Nah, I'm pretty as it is. Hmm, I guess I can look in here. You should really know what this is by now, buddy. It's where I take long showers and contemplate life. Also, I sing. That's nice. I'm trying to just look for anything here, smart asses. <laughs> Don't give me that guff now, Teddy. Is there anything else in here that could be worth something? I mean, all I got in here was a duster. Oh wait, the oh, wait, the duster could be used to probably get rid of the cobwebs, right? That's what they want me to get in here. Figure I'd look in here one last time. Just some stuff I don't really care. Mmm, paintings, just any old painting. Towels, cabinets, trying to think of anything I haven't looked at yet. I think that's about all in here. So I guess we'll go back. God. What's happening? What is this? Doll, you seeing this? I... I... I don't know, Ted. What was that? It's fine. It's nothing, probably. It's the middle of the night, and the light is playing tricks on us. Let's go. I... I don't... I don't think light plays tricks in that manner. Maybe seeing a silhouette in the light... Maybe, but... That's not a silhouette in the light. I don't know if you looked on the floor, but I'm sure you did, but... That's not a silhouette in, in the light. Considering I also saw color, I saw red. Okay, that's not 
<laughs> you can't do that with just light. At least not in this world. So let's use the duster. See what's in the other room. There, I cleaned it up. Go crawl through. Why don't you crawl through? Obviously, I can't fit. Otherwise, I would totally do it. Sure you would. I'll get in there. case was spinning out of control. So fast I had to hold him in my hat. Nothing made sense and it was getting more twisted by the minute. We've come across an old buddy of mine who suddenly found himself out of purpose and place. The steel mill where Rust worked for years got blown to bits. And the hard work on his people lost their jobs overnight. The police are writing it off as an accident. Coincidentally, there were a lot of accidents this past week. The whole damn city was burning up, and no one was doing anything about it. Did I pick the wrong time to get out of that dump? According to Rust and Miller, one man is responsible for all this mayhem. In one week, he's become a synonym for fear throughout the city, and police and thugs alike are shuddering at the mention of his name. They call him the Red Man. I have a strong feeling in my gut. It's all somehow connected. My retirement, the fires, and the official cover-up. What happened to Flint, the Red Man? It's all leading to her. I feel she is the key to all of this. The last piece of the puzzle I have to solve. Does she know more than she's led me to believe? Or have I let my suspicions get the better of me? It's hard for me to admit this. It's also downright stupid. But I've let myself trust her over the years we've worked together. And I have to trust her now. Sooner or later, we'll find ourselves back in that hellhole city. This bond I have with her will be the only thread I'll have to hold on to when things go from bad to worse. In Paper City, all bets are off, but the stakes were never as high as now. Well, I mean, there's the obvious connection of Flint, fire, I'm just saying, it's pretty obvious. I'm j I don't know if that's actually, you know, a thing, but... Flint could be the Red Man. Yeah, by the way, if he is the Red Man, I don't want to know. I'm just guessing out loud here, just for the record. Pick it up. A level 6 sword. Hmm, it has higher damage than my gun. I'm more of a range guy myself. Maybe I can sell it at a shop. <laughs> I love the casual references. Pick it up and take it. I'll just sell this sword. Buy some revives for later. Yeah. Maybe want to buy some potions too, though. Storage space reserved for various miscellanea. Is miscellanea a word? I never heard it before. It probably is, but I never heard it. I've got a sudden urge to play it on stage and destroy it over the drum kit. Well, that's just wasteful. Who'd take the rope? Just some rope. I bet someone would find this extremely useful. Not me, though. I love the casual poking at, uh, you know, adventure games. In adventure games, rope is like sacrosanct. You need it. Hard shell on the outside, sweet on the inside. Metaphors never end with you guys, huh? A toy car, maybe. I don't know. I'm not in the car evaluation business. It reminds me of a cocktail recipe. Add two, three ice cubes. Pour some liquor over them. Mix it in your stomach. Repeat. I call it the Ted trademark. It's a, um, a small paper box. Empty sheets of paper spread across the table surface. What future awaits those sheets of paper? Will they ever become a book? No. A book titled Half-Life 3. Oh, I bet it's fantasy. Okay, now that one was just on too on the nose. I mean, I don't even like Half-Life, but that one was, that was pretty on the nose. A wise man once said, the windows are the eyes of a house. Yeah, I've been jacking around to, well, I guess I can keep jacking around and see if I can look at anything. I don't like pillows. I'm far too rugged for such comfort. What, do you sleep on the floor? Come on, man. Well, this thing really stands out. Is it a monkey? Roses in a field? An orange? I'm really bad at appreciating art. 
It looks like a series of waterfalls in a meadow or something like that to me, but uh, then again, I don't know art either. This looks like some kind of, like, hurricane in the middle of an ocean to me. Depicting colors contained by various forms and shapes. Okay, uh, I guess I can look in the cabinet. It's like the only thing I haven't looked at here. It's got drawers. I guess the logical thing to do here would be to search the drawers for clues, but I'm not going to do that. I have my reasons. And the reasons are that you sh you already know there's nothing in them, I guess. So I guess we'll go talk to the brothers. I had a feeling I'd find you two lurking around. How is it that whenever something fishy goes down, you two are peeking around the corner? Save your monologues for the shower, Snoop. We didn't do it! And what exactly didn't you do? Whatever you're implying we did or didn't do. So you did it? It depends. Depends on what? If we did whatever you're hinting that we did, or for that matter didn't do, and if the answer might incriminate us to a certain degree, then as a fact, I can state that we didn't do it. See? But if not doing it, whatever it is you're implying we did or didn't do would put us in the same position as in the previous statement, considering it was true, then we certainly did do it. <sighs> This is going nowhere. If you weren't a crook, you could have had a career as a lawyer. Although the two aren't mutually exclusive. Yeah? Well, if you weren't a snoop, you could have had a career as a drunk. Although the two aren't mutually exclusive. See? Don't act smart with me, lowlife. I'll take you downtown faster than you can say I'm guilty. Now start spilling the beans, or this friendly get-together might turn out ugly for you, too. I love that a teddy bear is playing the tough guy against two... To, uh, well, albeit they are rabbits, but the one looks pretty muscular, you gotta give him that. You two lowlifes heard anything about the Red Man? We might have heard something. My memory's a bit fuzzy these days, see? <laughs> I guess I gotta go with the, the tough guy routine, because that seems to be his, his shtick. Well, if you cooperate, maybe I can forget about that nasty carrot smuggling operation you two are running on the west side of town. C carrot smuggling? I don't know anything about no carrot smuggling, see? It's all for private use. My brother here is a big individual, and he needs his vitamins and such, see? Ain't that right, John John? Smuggling is such a strong word. That's right, John John. Well, that didn't go anywhere. Either I picked the wrong thing, or none of them really worked. I'm gonna guess the, the second. Where is Flint Ashworth? Beats me. He wasn't here when we arrived. Is he missing? No, I'm just asking because I have these two tickets for Wuthering Heights on ice. Oh, it's just wonderful. The reviews are overwhelmingly positive. Shut up, John John. He's just pulling your leg. So you're saying you had nothing to do with his disappearance? Who do you take us for, Snoop? We ain't no kidnappers. The kid probably went to see his friends or something, see? Besides, he's a tough kid. I'm sure he's fine. Sure, because kidnapping is way over the line for you two. It's one of the few things missing from your M.O. Maybe you thought you should step up the game. Who put you up to it? Whoa, whoa, as I said, we ain't no kidnappers, see? We may have our differences. You and I, but you know we would never go as far. Hmm. All right, you're off the hook. For now. Hmm. Why'd you escape the city? Who says we escaped? Me and John John just came to enjoy ourselves out in the country, see? We might take up fishing, or hiking. Yeah, those types of things. That's just great news, Jimmy. I love it here. It's so relaxing. Sure. And your escape had nothing to do with the recent activities regarding the Red Man? What Red Man? Also, Snoop, Native American is the proper nomenclature, I do believe. You know who I'm talking about, so stop playing dumb. Not you, big guy. I know you can't help it. Help what? What are we talking about? Forget it. So, why are you here, exactly? That's none of your business, Snoop. Listen here, you lowlife. I know you operate on the west side these days. I've seen you down with your face in the mud coming out from those 24-hour carrot bars near the harbor. I know you've seen things. You two better start being useful, or else. Oi, oi, Copernicus! How about you take a long walk down the shore pier, see? We ain't seen nothing. We're just a couple of them hard-working individuals, see? We know our rights. We pay them taxes and such. What's a snoop like you even gonna do? You ain't a cop, see? You got that right, pal. I ain't a cop. That just means I can throw a couple of knuckle sandwiches your way before I take you two lowlifes in. Not that anyone would care. I can just say I found you that way. 
or that the Reef King got to you before I did. Maybe it's time you leave two exemplary citizens like us alone and find yourself someone else you can bother, see? I hear that crazy old coot's been chasing seagulls down at the harbor lately. Maybe he can help you, see? CBG. Haven't seen him in a while. You're saying he knows something. It's worth a shot, ain't it? It's not like you're getting anywhere with us. It's just that getting the information out of him might prove to be quite a task, see? Don't worry about that. Me and him go back a long way. He'll talk to me. I just don't get why you would protect someone that made you flee the city in the middle of the night. Hold on there, Snoop. We're not protecting anyone. It's just that this guy, he's not your average sap, see? You remember he's getting a bit better, eh? Hey, we want to see this all sorted out as much as anyone. With all the folks leaving the city, it's, well, it's bad for business. Sure, sure. I can only imagine. What do you know about it? Not much. And the things we heard are mostly just stories. He's setting fires and whatnot down in the city. Wants to see it all burn. See? No one will stop this guy, Snoop. Not even you. He's the reckoning this city was due for. He won't stop until everything is dust, and we lie forgotten in the sands of time. What? What the hell are you talking about, John John? Don't listen to him. He had a rough night. Hmm. Well, you two were useful as always. I have to go. When I come back, I hope for your sake, nothing will be missing. Besides the kid, you mean? You trying to be funny, or you got the sudden urge to confess? The voiced one. Yeah. See you later, Snoop. You better believe it. One more thing. You didn't find a key by any chance lying around the house. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did. It was just lying on the floor. That's what I thought. How about you hand it over to me? I'll keep it safe for you guys. Sure thing, there you go. Now don't go telling people we never helped you. It's like we're partners now, see? Sure. Okay, so now we can at least go in the parents' room, and I'm sure these two are totally on the up and up. Never mind the fact that they just lied. Or, well, either they're lying or Millie's lying. I kind of have to assume that these two are the ones lying, but I guess that'd be obvious now, wouldn't it? We'll have to find another way. I'll just use this to poke it down. I mean, you can reach up there and poke it down, right? Yeah, that's a good idea. No. I thought it was a good idea. Hmm. Wait, there's a. Can I untie this? It looks highly cuttable. Is that a word? Cuttable? Well, that's pretty obvious then. No. What the hell do you mean, no? Do it! Oh, psh. The sword won't do it, but the Swiss Army knife will. There we go. I'll take it with me. Maybe Millie can tell me something more about it. Yay, I'm a hoarder, so says the Steam Achievement. Yay! Is there anything else in here? There's a big box. Look at that lamp, lamping around like there's no tomorrow. You go, lamp. Right. Something. It looks like a match in a small metal container. Is it? Did I get it right? I thought it looked more like a toothpick, but yeah, that could be a hint as to later, if that's a match. I might have actually been right with my guess. <laughs> Don't think there's anything else in here. I mean, I've looked at all the other stuff here, so I guess we'll go back. Those two clowns are in there, not being useful as always. Did you ask them about Flint? I did. They didn't know anything. I think they're just hiding from someone. The Red Man? That's my best bet, but who knows with those two. So, Flint's not in there? No. What should we do, Ted? We have to find him. Well, we're not going to find him standing here. We should check other rooms. Maybe he's hiding somewhere. Mugshots gave me this key to your parents' room that they, mm, totally just found lying on the floor. We should start there, then. Such forward ideas. You're going to be a fine detective one day. Thanks, Bear. You too. I feel like that was an insult to Bear there, but I guess we'll just go with it. Please don't show that one scene again. I hate sudden transitions like that. Okay. Of course, now they got my guard down. I was gonna say, now they're gonna do it in the hallway. You're gonna make me actually drag the key over there, aren't you? I know you're gonna. It's locked. Ugh. Was this really needed? It's unlocked. Hope I don't get into trouble over this. Yeah, they're just sleeping in there, just shining a light. 
or they're gone. <laughs> Take anything that's not nailed down. It looks a lot like a horse brush. Probably shouldn't ever tell your parents that you think that. Uh, I'm just saying. I'm not allowed to use lipstick till I'm a bit older, according to my mom. It's highly inedible, though. That's good to know, I guess. Some weird plant is sticking out of it. I bet they make fun of short heels all the time. I feel like these should grow in a pond. I could be wrong. Oh, right. She's talking about... I don't know what those are. <laughs> Who has a picture of a creepy dude in their bedroom? A painting of some guy. Let's name him. Jeffrey. What do you think, Ted? I don't, but he does look like a Jeffrey. Jeffrey creepy face. His eyes would follow us around the room, if he had any. He doesn't have eyes. What? Yes, he does. I, well, maybe he doesn't. I can't tell. Oh, my phone turned off. Damn it. Had my timer on there. Well, I got about a minute 45 seconds before the timer goes off. Let's pick up this camera here. I actually came prepared today, so I knew when to quit. I'll take this film strip with me. Maybe I can develop it later. How very specific. Neatly folded in half and thrown over the bed. Where where are her parents anyway? Is that, have they gone into this as to why they're not here in the middle of the night? Where else to put them but underneath the bed where you sleep? Men, am I right? You're talking to the wrong audience, sweetie. <laughs> my shoes are... Actually, my shoes are not under the bed because I have a water bed. I can't go under the bed. It's plastic wrap for your clothes. For some reason. But to be fair, I mean, that is a pretty good place. If you're going to put the pants there, you might as well put the shoes there if, you're, if they're able. Why not? It's a logical place to do. A chandelier. It's French for fancy lamp. I, my, the house I grew up in has chandelier. Apparently this was not normal or commonplace either. I thought it was. This lamp is pretty. So tall and lean and lacy on top. It's like a supermodel lamp. So you're telling me you had water coolers and chandelier in your house growing up? Yeah, I thought this was totally normal. It was a big surprise and they told me it wasn't. <laughs> of course, we also had a pool table and ping pong table and all this stuff, but I don't really want to get into that. And Hey, what's this? This thing is so dusty. It's like a... it looks like the thing, um, to a... Uh, whatever. Alright, reset the timer for 15 more minutes because I don't feel like quitting quite yet. And we will keep going here. Oh, I can look in the armoire. It's my parents' closet, also known as a cliched hiding spot when playing hide and seek. Yeah, hide and seek, yeah, we'll say hide and seek and not adult literature. That's what we'll go with because I doubt she even knows what that is, and if she does, it's kind of disturbing in its own right. Or precocious. Let's go with precocious. That sounds better. Let's go in the dark room. <laughs> 